Last time we have properly defined an inertial frame along with two postulates of special relativity. So we are all on the same track when deriving more advanced phenomena. Today we are going to take these postulates, run them through a logic machine and derive the first consequence of this postulate called relativity of simultaneity. If you haven't watched the previous video, I strongly recommend you to do so because it's very important to keep track of the logic we are going to use. So we are in the following situation. This is us waiting at a train station and there is this train passing by with another person exactly in the middle of the train. When we are perfectly aligned, two lightnings strike on both ends of the train. And remember, this is from our reference frame, standing at the train station. We are not talking about the moving observer now. So, as the lightning stroke, the light is propagating in all directions, and this train is still moving to the right. So the moving observer will catch the light from the right first and then the light from the left. Now it's time to use the Einstein's first postulate. Remember the box? If we have a certain sequence of events in the same position, then it must remain the same for all observers. And it is the same for our moving observer. If in our reference frame, light from right hits the moving observer sooner than the light from left, then this must be true also for the reference frame of the moving observer, otherwise we have the problem with causality. So we have one universal truth that everybody has to agree on, and it's that the moving observer had to experience the light from right sooner than the light from left. But how can we make this work for a moving observer? Because if we were the moving observer, when we are perfectly aligned with the observer at the train station and two lightnings struck at the same time, by the second postulate of relativity, the light should travel with the same speed relative to us as well, and therefore we should experience the light from both at the same time. So what went wrong here, because this just contradicts what I just said about the universal truth, that the light from right should be first and the light from left should be second, and therefore it contradicts the first postulate of special relativity. Well, there is a bias we just used, and it was assuming that the lightning strike at the same time also for the moving observer. This bias must just go away. And in order to preserve the first postulate of relativity, we have to sacrifice an absolute simultaneity. But this is okay, remember? From the observer at the train station, the lightning struck at the same time, but they are separated with some distance and therefore these lightnings can't be causally connected. And therefore this observer can't say anything about the ordering of these two events for other observers in a universe. And therefore it's not a universal truth. Now let's go back to the problem. From the moving observer perspective, he must experience the right strike sooner than the left strike. And it's only possible if the right strike happens sooner than the left strike. And now everything works perfectly fine with the postulates of special relativity, right? We just had to sacrifice the absolute simultaneity and this is the main problem people have with this phenomenon. For example, this girl, whose video is going to be in the description below, forced an absolute simultaneity for both observers and got a contradiction with the postulates, which is not a proper way to use logic. So. You might go watch it and see what you should not do when thinking about special relativity. By the way, have you ever heard of so-called ladder paradox? Because this video might actually help you resolve this paradox as the relativity of simultaneity is the key. I will keep this for another video, so stay tuned if you don't want to miss it. So I hope that I explained everything clearly in this video and 
if you learned something or if you like this video just give it a like or subscribe if you want to see more i would really appreciate it and i'm looking forward to see you in the next video